Hello, hello. Welcome back. Pardon me manhandling you unnecessarily there. Not my intention. Eh. Uh, gotta get Jeff in the shot. Welcome back to a little bit of GTA. We are in the auto shop. There are still, I must assume, uh, some secrets to pry out of this place. Some delightful unlockables, perhaps. But first, a little green juice. Here's to you. Mm. That is slippery. All right. So, first of all, I have, like, no voice left. You'll have to pardon me. I've been stuck on calls him for quite a while. First of all, I think we should spend a little bit more of our money. We have been saving and saving, robbing dear El Rubio of his precious panthers and whatnot. His tequila and his limes, all mine. So, quickly, we've uh, set up the auto shop, but we didn't get any of the wackier visual improvements, because it's always sort of fun to see its default state. Pardon me. Maybe this will help. There's <laughs> something off about my audio, and I don't know if it's just uh, my very, very gravelly voice. We'll see. So, my auto shop must be this one. Oh, good. Let's see if there's anything fun we can add to it now that we've got the basic gist. It is a little bit uh, bland in there, in the garage area. I'm assuming this would fix that. With some delightful posters, some clutter. Mmm, realistic cityscapes. It'll just draw you right in like a cursed painting. Sir, this is highly irregular. Well, you're not wrong. There, is that it? That, that's what was wrong. I was pointed slightly down. And it was making me sound as though I was in a tin can very far away. I'm not. I didn't mean to make you think that. Hey. <laughs> Let's see. That one is uh, very tempting. It looks cool. The road continues off, you know. Looney Tunes style, I enjoy that. That's fun for me. This is nice, but it doesn't really vibe with the uh, business I'm running. The quite legitimate business. So it's kind of down to this one, which is very much a GTA. Uh, uh, just a visual love letter to the series, which I do want to see up close. There also sort of seems to be like an alien man there. I don't mean to be offensive if this is just a gentleman <clears throat> enjoying his day, but eh, maybe an alien man. And we could get a closer look at that. This one, I'm also not sure if there'd be something hidden in the cacti. It's got the uh, atomic explosion going off there. I'm curious. So that'd be 340. This would be 450. Let's soften the blow. We'll go here first. What else do we have? Tinted. Oh, tinted hard. Tinted hard to starboard. Get some red railings. Make sure you know exactly where the railings are at all times. Vibrant green. Voice, really. Any time now, you can join. Oh, look who it is. Trying to be fashionably late with McCords. I don't give a fuck. You keep okay. I'll keep it, keep it dark for now, that's my motto, and that's fine. We already got all these staff and extras upgrades, so it was just really the mural there that I was interested in. Let's see how it shakes out. How is my day going? Ah, what an intimate and inappropriate question. <laughs> no, p perfectly appropriate. It was alright. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not actively weeping anymore, any longer, so it's fine. <laughs> Typical Thursday, really. How are you all? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's uh, hardly your fault. <laughs> <laughs> How 
How is my day going? You have the audacity to ask me. No. Oh. All right, we are upgraded. Someone's shattered some glass somewhere. I'm paying for that. Hi. What do we have here? Take care. Thank you. We've got lager beer. We've got premium gas. Uh, get get around the vehicle. There we go. We've got lager beer. There, uh, we've got premium gas. We've got redwood premium cigarettes. Mm. We specialize in Albany motors. The repair of them. Perfect taste. Is that Sadie Adler? Hmm. Playing some Ghost of Tsushima. Pardon me. Blah, 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 blah. That sounds amazing. I wish that I was doing that. <laughs> we have atomic rubber tire products. Here we are. Okay. Anything hidden in the cacti? Odd looking brush strokes. Look closer. <gasps> it's Bigfoot. Hey! Oh, sorry, sir. You just have huge, honking feet. Like a goose. It's very strange. Okay, I don't see any, any secret Wizard of Oz references. So, I'll just uh, shut off my Pink Floyd album. Then, that's fine. Demon Oil. My favorite brand. Dumon oil? I'm, I'm not sure how they want me to pronounce it. Ride around like a champ. Well, that's the American dream. Whose hand is this? Mm, very mysterious. What can we learn? What can we learn from the particulates under the fingernails? Who are you? What is your story? Why do you only have three? And then what I'm assuming is your thumb peeking out back there. Is that... Hmm... Probably nothing. Cover up. It's going to be a hot one out there. Wait. American Highway Route 68, 44, FF, J1, 98. Does that mean anything to you? That's my birthday and pen number. Built for those about to work. And God, it's made in America! Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to shout at you there. Alright, let's see if we can fix this up or if it's glitching out. It's always fun. Yay, yay. And then we'll get back to the splurging, I promise. Alright, wine red. Ooh, 16 months subscription. Welcome back. <laughs> Was that enough? Enough prolonged eye contact there? I don't know. The rules, exactly. Transmission. Suspension. That wants to be sporty all around. Well, that's fine with me. No, no, you ruin your car however you want. Jeez. I asked for the mechanic service, not for all of this attitude, sir. And if you're not going to deliver, then I'm afraid my doubloons are no good here. Sport wheels. Ah, this guy. GT1. I'm still criticizing. Confirm! Eh. Do we have time? Uh, mm, mm. Yes. We don't, now that I took that long to decide. We genuinely don't. But it'll be fine. I'm gonna go shaft this customer real quick. I mean, I'm gonna... Uh, that didn't sound quite right. I mean... I'm gonna shaft her. I'm gonna give you the sha... Uh, I'm... What am I doing? I'm trying not to scrape it, is all. It's really... The meat and potatoes of this whole mission set. Don't scrape it. 
if there's one rule... I can't think of an appropriate analogy for that. I think of like a life scenario where you'd have to shout that. Don't scrape it! But, uh, I'm not thinking of a good one, so I'm just going to move on. Don't know why I was uh, trailing down that path. Last minute lane change. I approve, sir. Good for you. Why are you taking me all that way up into the hills just to circle me back? Is this some sort of cruel betrayal? A cruel shafter's ruse? Can't believe it. What are you doing? I'm giving the customer the shaft. Do you mind? Pretty sure I said that right. No grammatical mistakes there. <laughs> All right, we made it. Is this Franklin's house? This is Franklin's house, isn't it? Yes. I'd know that house anywhere. Hmm. Franklin's neighbors bought a sporty wine red shafter. This is definitely going in my diary. You're welcome. This is my little dance. This is part of the customer service. I hope you enjoy it. You enjoy that vehicle now. All right. See you later. It's all part of the customer service. Mm -hmm. No, I, I know I delivered it. I'd love to access the menu now. Thank you. That's... what a treat. Oh, the customer was hyped about that last car. It's so nice to see you guys on an evening here. As promised, we can now get back to the uh, wildly spending my remaining... 20 million? Something like that? I don't mean to brag. I've just wasted my life. That's all. Just wasted my life. I'm so sorry, is it too close to my mouth with the microphone? Hello there, welcome. I don't mean to be shouting, if I still am. Or maybe that was someone else entirely. So nice to see you there. Hello, hello. I'm flying across the city. I, I promised. Promised we'd be splurging by now. Let's land on a seedy rooftop. The kind of place you'd wear a green shirt to try to blow up a chicken magnate with a car bomb. You know. You know the place. All right, opening up the internet. Nothing to do with chicken. Don't worry, Gus. I have been uh, grinding a couple of races and a couple of... Oh, standing in the corner of the car meet buying tattoos for an hour and a half. And some of these uh, other Los Santos tuner cars are unlocked. The trade price for them, rather. So we already have the Euros. We could get the tailgater, we have the Honest, the Jester, and the brand new one, as of today, I believe. A new, uh, Fister Comet. What a treat. So there's a, a tiny little mechanic behind these that, uh, that is interesting, that you're earning that car meat reputation, your underground street racer rep, uh, with these new races, and buying one of these new related cars actually unlocks a chunk of the bar. So, by buying all of the cars, you are increasing your rep, thereby unlocking the trade price for other cars and more clothes, etc. Which is very fun. So I was thinking I usually don't pick up all the new cars in an expansion, but now they've, uh, they've put an incentive behind it. They've put the incentive of experience behind these cars, and now, ah, uh, Ah. So, let's splurge. Uh, I'm more excited about the Jester than anything, really. That looks pretty neat. I'm going to buy it yellow. Because if you're going to buy a Jester, he may as well be yellow. Let's see if we could put it all in the auto shop for now. I will sort them there. So, we got a Jester. A funny idea, Jester. No butcher, no baker, no candlestick maker, and me with the face of a fine undertaker impressed her. 
As a jester? What? Who's speaking right now? So there's our Onis. That'll be fun. The ZR-350. Uh, Tailgater? Sure. Yeah, join the party. I'm gonna make you white. Sorry. Uh. And there you go. Now we jump over to Southern San Andreas Super Autos, where we have a few more options. Oh, I'm seeing a question. You got the Itali GRX. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, those curves. Oh, oh I need a minute. Sorry, I'll, c I'll compose myself. Uh, the question, how tall are you, Peter? I think I'm like 5'11", 5'10", when I'm all hunched over and depressed. 5'11"-ish. Somewhere in there. I just looked up when I was around 16 and as tall as I was ever going to get. I just looked up Vigo Mortensen's height, and that's what I've been telling people ever since. So, yeah. <laughs> no. I am also kind of excited. We got uh, the Calico already. Uh, the Dominator was the other one that I do want to get, and that was one of the first ones while I was grinding out some races that unlocked. And I was sad that I didn't have you all with me to buy it immediately, so I saved it. I did, however, buy this Warrener, and that's how I figured out that these give you, um, street wrap, or whatever I'm supposed to call it. So that one's covered. Let's go ahead and buy the Dinka. I'll make it blue. I'm just following the pictures. I know a good color when I see it. And there it is. So, top shelf. Mm, we'll go backsies, frontsies. We'll start with the Remus. And we'll make it black. Next picture. Probably almost full at my auto shop. What a shame that's going to be. The Futo GTX. I I'm not looking at my money, because right now it's behind the broadcast bar. And that's hot pink. Mm. Good stuff. Love that neon pink, yes. Okay, so yes, I am now full. This must be a 10-car garage, and I filled it up with some that are not supposed to be here, like the Custom Donk. Hello, Custom Donk, and the BF Club. I can take those out. However, I will need to do that on a second pass. Let's find another garage that works. Closest to that might be the office garage. I'll put them in three, because I think that's not very full. I don't know why you need to know everything about my thought process, but here you go. The platter is not silver. It's, um... Oh. It's plastic, is what it is. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is probably more of a yellow, but we'll make it orange, and we'll call it even. And that one I'm really excited about. Customizing, it looks really cool. All right, that's going in office garage number three. I hope I haven't mixed up the order of those. I think we got them all. Pink Futo, Orange Dominator. Mm, it's going to be good. So I don't know. The fact that this has that mechanic behind it makes me uh, kind of want to pick up the rest of these expansion vehicles, too, like all these Kyle Brico ones. I know that for, like, the Doomsday heists, the underground bunker ones... All the vehicles associated with that have a place that they can park inside the bunker. So those are also like a display item in a certain sense. I've gotten a lot of deliveries. But I don't think that's true for all of them, so I'm not sure about the Cayo Perico ones. If those would just be normal cars you can have in your garage. Which is great. But at this point, when I'm able to make a little bit more money after this big spending spree, I'd like to try to fill up those decorative parking slots as much as I can. So we're starting here. Radical lane changes again. Oh, these scams. So let's start with the ones that made it to my auto garage, though I don't believe that includes the Dominator, which hurts me and my feelings a little. Hmm. However, I can bring out some other cars here and fix up my selection. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry! Okay. 
Why am I whispering? As though it's a secret. I'm just so sorry. I almost hit that guy. And now I'm... <sighs> Do pardon. My sippage. You too have a custom donk, but it's not car related. Oh. 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 I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's wonderful news. I'm so proud of you and your custom donk. So this one is not a new Tudor vehicle. This is one that I was playing around with in the car meet because it seemed appropriate. And I've been seeing a couple of other of this model of car in there and I wanted to mess around with it. These are both new. This is the custom donk that's not supposed to be in here. We'll start by removing that. Make a little room. However, I have to point out my newly added Grim Reaper bobblehead. Ah! Oh. It's the details that make this game so special. And that's, that's the one detail you can add to cars. <laughs> okay. Where shall I put this? I can probably take it to the office garage and then I can switch one of these back. That'll be... That's the way to do it. Nice donk. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Do you want to see what my donk does? I didn't feel right asking that question. I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize on behalf of anyone's grandmother who is still alive who might be watching this for asking you if you'd like to see what my donk does. But this is what my donk does, if you're curious. My donk does that. And you can push it forward. Oh, you can push it back. But you gotta reset it first. I, I remember now. Oh yeah. We're riding proud. Let's do this. This is the most ridiculous car. Both the fact that it's literally called a donk and everything else about it make me so happy. Cruising down the highway. In a custom donk! I'm pretty sure that those were the original lyrics. Radical. These Los Santos folks, of which I am proudly one, pardon me. Pardon me, sir. I criticize and then I turn right around. And I do something worse. Humanity. Seconds me. All right, office garage number three. That's the new happening party spot. Pardon me for just one second. I'm going to try not to squeak at you this time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't be better. No matter what the Mio commercials tell you. So this might be my Dominator. It might not be. It might be. There's the button. All right, that's the one. That's the Futo. Were those the only two? Check the other levels just in case. And also to show off. <laughs> yes, it did. Needs the full... It's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank, half pack of cigarettes. It's dark out, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. don't believe any of these, though lovely. Oh, Frank and Strange. It's so good to see you. I don't believe any of these are new. Ah, the good old Rusty Rebel. The memories. The memories I've had in this garage. We got a nightshade. Got a classic gauntlet. The Duke of Death. Oh, Duke of Death. Saber Turbo and Saber Turbo Custom. He's a little bit extra. It's, it's fine. So, it is just the top two. That's all we need. Should we start with the Dominator? Or should we take our uh, delicious pink friend out for a spin? I've heard very good things about the Futo. In tuner terms. I know two things about tuner cars that you can tune them, and that 
They are cars. What button are you using to get the info above the car? It's down on the D-pad for me. I'm not sure what that translates to. That seems to work in the car meet as well, which has been very helpful in like... Ah, oh, what's that? You can just pop that little menu on. I'm gonna swing in here one more time. I know we've tried this. It's the very definition of insanity to keep doing so, but I truly believe you should be able to modify your own cars in your own auto shop. And it's never worked for us, but let's give it one more chance. Since we have an open slot. Absolutely, yeah. GTA seems to be full of those little tricks. There's a million different sub-menus upon sub-menus, and I'm still trying to catch them all. So let's see if it works in here. Yeah. See all the names and your upgrades and whether or not it has insurance, etc. Very helpful. Okay, so if I get in here, come on now. Modify your vehicle. Oh, yes, I blew right past it. it. It was always there, waiting for me. Okay. We'll do the normal set. Yes, please. There is a little something about armor. I always jump up to armor because it's like a... It doesn't have any visual effect, and it... I say that now. <laughs> it kind of doesn't have any visual effect, and it just seems to be something you should have. Like, of course, armor, yes. But it makes your car so strong that you can't, like, crash it. You can't demolish your fenders, and... It's sort of fun to roll into an auto shop after having been wedged between two semis and crumpled your car, and if it has 100% armor, you can never do that. So it is sort of fun sometimes to leave a new car unarmored so that you can see the default state of its destruction. But we won't do that to our dear, dear Futo here. We got race brakes. What's on your t-shirt? I see the question there. Let me see if I can... Uh, without flashing too much. Can you see the bottom? Can you see my bottom? Be honest with me. It um, is a line from the White Vault that was very, very kindly put on a T-shirt and sent to me from Russia, I believe, of all places. Oh, the lovely homeland of Russia. And it... Uh, means if you censor it, <laughs> which I tend to do, it means I have never been in such a terrible situation before. But it doesn't say terrible. So... <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Doors. Ah, oh, just what I wanted. A little, a little something to sit on the top now. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> Got yellow fogs. Anyone? Anyone want some yellow fogs? I will come back around to chassis upgrades. If need be. We can make it pink. And we should. That's only right. Forty-two thousand dollars. But it's only right. $31,000 to make the cam belt cover pink? Of course, you have to. Why Why wouldn't you? Although this is so cool, I do love. And we can make it purple. That fits in. I'm not changing the dynamic too much. Yeah, we'll do it. Do you have a painted strut bar for me? Are you refusing? The customer is always... <laughs> I can't believe that you won't just paint my strut brace. <laughs> oh, it's fine. You don't offer that here. That's fine. Ooh, we can do colored uh, ITBs. I, I don't know what that stands for. It sounds cool. Intertubule bits. Yes, definitely. I like those intertubule bits. EMS upgrade level 4. That's the highest level. That's like DEFCON 0. It's great. I 
think we got everything in there. Yes. Exhaust. What do we got? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. How cute. Wow. <laughs> That's so ludicrous. Look at these tubes. Look at them. I love it. Okay. I'm really, really tempted to get uh, the star? But if there's another heart somewhere else, like this one was also a heart, so that's fine. I don't want to ruin the theme. Somehow the star seems perfect for this. But I will choose the heart, and hope that there is another heart in the in the theme. Retro wide body, secondary or carbon. Hmm. If only the tires were just. If, it's not important. No, it's fine. Sleepy eyes. They they thought of everything. This is so cute. Oh, he's just a little drowsy. Oh. Well, this is just what I needed. Okay. So, he's got the heart on his bottom. He can't be full sleepy. He's got to be awake enough to embrace the world with love. So let's go one drowsy eye? Should it be right? Yeah. It should be right. All right. This car is coming together so nice. Do you want it lifted? Buddy, you look you look perturbed by this decision. Uh vented. Yeah. Get that DeLorean look. You know you deserve it. Come on. You know you do. Transparenthood, that's cool. If there is one thing I support, it's transparenthood. Should I do the performance or the race? I think performance has a little... I like that wider vent, whatever that is back there. Let's try that. Since it's already so adorable, let's give it a cute horn. That's the drowsy eye. You can actually hear it. Those are quite the right spirit. It's getting there. <laughs> Sorry, where were we? gotta be full, full high. That's the one. Okay. Classical horn number seven. I am so glad you guys are here to see this. It's always so fun in GTA when you find a car that has really unique upgrades. It's like a little rare treat that they occasionally just throw in some wacky stuff like wonky tires and drowsy eyes, and it makes it so fun. I would hate to be sitting here giggling like an idiot to myself. But I often do. And it's not so bad. It's... it's fine. <laughs> okay, I think we're probably fine on default there. Headlights. <laughs> Just the one. Headlight upgrades. We could give it some fancy neon. Mm. Maybe just sides and pony pink. There's hot pink, too. It needs the hot pink. Mm. Gorgeous. All right. Liveries. What do we got? Hmm. <laughs> Duct tape on the bumper. Rusty patches. I thought you died years ago. 
Oh my god, it's Rusty Patches. Bunch of Ray Sliveries. Princess Robot Bubblegum. Popular television show in universe. So some of these are not unlocked yet, okay. That would be pretty, uh, pretty adorable. So there's nothing I need to jump out and grab just yet, though it is cool that you can add some weathering effects. I really like that. I like to see the, uh, oh, the full effect for now. We have our tracker, we have full coverage. Do we put it under the drowsy eye? <laughs> that only seems right. Ah, oh, I love this. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. We'll do the classic. Thank you, thank you. I didn't go to all the trouble of installing that app for nothing. Just to not use it. To use your randomized plates. No. So, uh, let me check if the primary color is already... metallic pink. Let's go the other way. Mm -hmm. It is not, so I could... Make it a little fancier. That does disrupt the purity of, like, a flat pink car. There's something special about the classic Barbie convertible. Oh, that endures to this day. And I don't want to mess that up. But we could add, like, a pearlescent purple shimmery thing. I think I'll just let it go full pink for now. Let's Barbie it. And we'll come back around to make it interesting if we have to. Inside, we got to change this up. Salmon. Oh, that's nice. I guess they don't have the hotter pinks. No offense, Salmon. How about white? Let's see if that even is an option. It really isn't visible. Let's see from outside here. Just sort of looks like a normal... gray. That's why it's so iconic, yes. That's why you've attracted so many followers in these recent months. It's the Barbie pink. The secret to success. Embrace it! <laughs> okay, these are my dials. Let's see if we can zhuzh that up a bit. Oh, you've got to zhuzh your dials. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Why? Hot pink. Let's do it. And... Interesting that that changes, or did it change, the pipes. Which one was that? I don't know if it was accent or not. Let's pick something cheap here just to check. Yeah, so the pipes are an accent color. That's a strange choice, but okay. That gives us a little more room to work with. Then we can forget about the dials. It's really more the color of that. And I kind of liked it white, but now I'm not sure. We could make it like chrome, even, or something crazy. Maybe that's not in here. I wish we could see... There. Now we can. It feels like it needs to be offset from the pink somehow. But I'm not sure what it should be exactly. It does look pretty good, white on pink. So let me just try that. We'll have ice white dials. I didn't actually pick it. Okay. <laughs> That's just the, hey, you bought this once. There we go. Okay, I think we're good on color. Let's move ahead. We got a roof scoop. Someone sang a whole song about this once. Little roof scoop. It's, it's good. You should check it out. I have no idea what this is. Do you put shorts in there? Is it mostly for the transfer and maintenance of shorts? Is that what this is? Why? Nah. We'll leave it bald. It's fine. Okay, we have side panel strips. We could make them any old color we want. Including white may look interesting. So let me do secondary and 
see if this changes anything else. Ah, it changes the whole bottom. You know how sometimes, when you least expect it, your whole bottom changes? And you're like, ah! This is one of those times. <laughs> okay. It's getting a little bit ice cream parlory now. I like it. I, I'm getting hungry is the problem. Maybe we should back it, back it down on the layers. I'm getting so hungry. And what an awkward segue. So the primary color will have to be... I'm not sure if we want to mess that up now. In which case, does it look better with the straight black stock line through it? These are the questions. This is why it takes me so long to get ready for our dates. This is why. Let's go back here. We'll think about it. If we have to have the line through it, let's give it a friend. Yeah. Let you meet the ground with a little symmetry. Okay, we don't want to cut into our heart too much. That can be dangerous for the arteries. Watch your spoiler. You might blow out your arteries. But maybe this one. Maybe a high lip. That sounds nice. Yes, this was the right choice. How low can it go? I think it's fine. <laughs> it's fine as is. Turbo tuning, absolutely. We're onto wheels. Good, good. High end. Oh, by all means. Let's splurge on our little baby. These look like tiny razors. Mm. Spoiler alert! How dare you? Okay, that's not quite it. What else do we got here? Street. These hubcaps have seen some things. They have been spending some time on the streets. And they're all the better for it. Look at how steely these are. Mm. So steely. I'm tempted. 26,000. Nebula at 38. It doesn't get any better. It just gets worse. Retro three-piece. We've been here before. I've made a joke about retro three-piece before. And I still like it. I do like the ones that have, like, a revolver cartridge thing going on. Cartridge? What is the word I'm thinking of? Eh. The... Chamber? <laughs> I'm a terrible cowboy. I've forgotten. Okay, I, I don't know. I can never find ones I like better than these uh, nice flat ones. I should branch out, I know, but these always just make me so happy when I see them. So I'm sorry, I'm being boring again. But, this should help with the bubblegum look. Oh, cutie? What a little cutie. That is perfect, with the heart and the tires. Oh, are there heart wheels? That would be perfect. Do you know what category they're under? Let me check. Tuner. If there are heart wheels, I am all in. Though I guess they have to be low rider to get the white walls. Maybe. We got dollar bills. Mm, if you squint, some of those shapes could kind of... It could be, there could be some hearts in there, if you really squint. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if I have the, the hard ones or not. If I do, I can come back and grab them, for sure. I would happily do that. To continue the theme. Let's try this for now. Eh, I'll let people see me. 
<laughs> Wouldn't want to rob them of the best part of their day, right? That would be rude. This always just seems like it's going to snap off. I like it. I'm sure it helps. Oh, the airflow in here has never been smoother. You should see how fast I get to work. But I'm going to snap that right off, I swear to you. One of these days. I'm going to trip the wrong way. That's kind of nice, actually. I wonder if it attaches a little better to the retro wide-body kit. It still doesn't push out the tires, but... Mm. <laughs> we'll leave that for now. How about rear? A little tempted to put as much pink back there as I can. That sounded really weird to say. Let's put as much pink back there as we can. Ah, oh, but that covers this little thing. There's a little heart. Okay, wait. Back up. Ah, we go. That's the one. We figured it out. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. This car. I can't stop throwing my hands up. All right. Let's go give her a little test run. A winky eye. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. With your little drowsy eye. Here we go. Ah, oh, and it's night time, too, so we can see the, uh, the full effect of our neon layout. This couldn't have worked better. This is one of my new favorite cars. And goodness, how smooth around corners. I didn't even do anything. I just, like, buttered the toast. And it all took care of itself. I didn't even butter the toast. I'm just trying to grab credit here. I did nothing. This is so smooth! I heart you too, because of the smoothness. Sorry. I was having too much fun. You heart me, I heart you. Okay, big fan. What's her name? Oh, that's a good question. Has to be something related to the model of car, or at least the color. I'm very tempted to make the uh, obvious reference. We can't call it the Princess Bubblegum. That's just... Uh, it's its right there. its We need to reach for it. Your car is bunny because of the shape. Ooh, which one is it? If, I, if that's appropriate to ask. I don't mean to pry into your personal business. But I love a good uh, favorite car. All right. We, we ate our vegetables. Not that you're... Not such a delicious meal. Let's uh, let's try this Dominator we've been excited about. Hi, Kia Forte in real life. Yes, I I do not own cars in real life <laughs> yet, but that that'd be great. I can't wait. This is the Jester. I haven't brought the Dominator over yet. We started with the Futo. Of course, I just also made this yellow is the problem. But that's fine. Let's check out the Jester. I'll just do aesthetic changes for now. We can come back and get engine upgrade and whatnot. Ooh. That is tempting, actually. Not too rubbing the ground, shall we say. All of these seem like they're just dying to rub the ground, but that just looks like a cool extension. I'll take it. Does the Dinka have a donk? It's... <laughs> I, can't, I can't just stop saying Dinka donk, Dinka donk, Dinka donk over and over again in my head now. I'm just trying to make a joke out of it. And it's just like, just say Dinka donk. That's the funniest possible thing here. Just go Dinka donk, Dinka donk. It's like, okay. I, and then I succumbed to it. And now we're caught up to now. You got it. <laughs> that tickled me 
in my bone. A funny one. Canards. I can hardly wait. These are always those little things that make it look like it has tiny arms. Like it's flipping a table. I'm out of here! I like them. No tiny arms for you. You're not a T-Rex. Oh. Sexy. I'll get a peek under your hood again later. Keep it warm for me. What? Why did he say... Why did he take it too far? Why did he have to do that? I'll come back around to this. And that. But this I need. Mm. Thank you. Brakes I probably also need. For the test drive, you know. Alright. If you don't have any giant hearts, you're in second place in mine. Rocket exhausts. Ah, rocketed back to first. Look at who did it. <laughs> no, not yet. Not until you get heart parts. Those are cool. Neo. What does that mean? Is that just a way of saying iridescent? Do you do you mean iridescent? Okay. <laughs> Now I can just be like, naughty, naughty, mm, no. <laughs> I need to go. I'm sorry. Thank you all for being here. I've, I've lost my mind. And I need to go eat. But not yet. We're having too much fun. All right. Nobody cares that you lost your mind. Customize the cars. Get back to it. Oh, this is nice. I mean, I don't want to be vain. Can we call the pink car the heart on? That would make a lot of sense. Let me see if I can... Is it like the arena workshop where you can name cars? I'll try to swing in there. I would love to name some of these if it lets me. So I kind of like this one because it has these side vents. I guess all of them, or most of them do, though. All the ones that aren't carbon. I thought that was a unique feature. No, it's not. So do we want a vented hood? Eh. A vanity hood, rather. Do we want four whole dents in it? No. Do we, do we want this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Okay. We got wonky donk eyes and now angry eyes. Oh no. Ah, thank you so much for stopping by. Glad you're getting something to eat. See you next time. Alright. Anything of importance here? Doors? I'd like doors. If it doesn't have doors now, I'd really like to add that to my cart. Thank you. Oh, yes, thank you for catching the clip. That is awesome. Dink a donk and tiny arms flipping. Oh, I can't wait to review it. <laughs> okay, what do we have livery wise? Jester. That's it. Shopping list. Him, excuse me. Losing my voice again. I'm surprised it's held... <laughs> As I say that, I'm surprised it's held up this long. I genuinely am. I should be in a crumpled heap by now. Ooh, geometric. That's kind of nice. You thought it said Yaskia. I wish. Oh. Oh, bard of my heart. Oh, dandelion of my live-action series. Come closer. Apart from, you know, that I'd have to change everything about it, but it's kind of neat. <laughs> so the only one that's not, like, race-themed seems to be this geometric one. That is kind of cool. Not sure I'm quite ready to take the plunge on a $22,000 livery, but I like it. 
I do kind of want Louvres. Louvers? I don't know how to pronounce it. L Louvers. Let's do it. Probably fine. What are the accents here? Are we back to just dials, or are you tricking me? Mm. It's just dials. I like the yellow we've got going on now. Let's keep it that for now. Roof of fins. Eh. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know why that's really worth $8,000, but no, I like it. I... yeah. Mm. Little roof ridges. We can... we can afford it. Yeah. Treat yourself to some roof ridges. That's fine. Should be fine there. We could do another tiny little spoiler. Oh, how cute. Plastic. I think they just added that as like a category for a couple of things, and it's sort of strange. But probably very realistic. Should be fine without a sunstrip, should be fine with normal suspension. We do want transmission and turbo. We're almost there, so sorry. Thank you for bearing with me. This is quite the splurge. A little tempted by these dual chrome vent braces. It gives it a certain je ne sais quoi on the front. Makes it look like a bug zapper, but that's what je ne sais quoi is. It's mostly about bug zapping. You can ask anyone. Alright. Gotta go for the classic, though. You know I can't stand not having gaudy wheels. It's really all I live for in life. Ah, oh, they're so gaudy. I love them. Okay. That should be about it. Nothing special there. Let's give this one a test. All right. I did make a car version of you, and now I'm going to keep it here forever. Next to Route 68. That's a nice spot. But I might move you around occasionally into various corners. Just to look at you from different angles. It's getting creepy now. I'm sorry. I <laughs> it was always creepy, let's be honest. This is also real smooth, really sturdy. Mm. <laughs> Every time I drive a car in GTA... It's always like when you're watching a food network show or somebody doing food online. And they're like, oh, oh, this is so good. I wish you could taste this. It's like, yeah, but I can't. And you know that. Like, the whole setup, the whole foundation of the exchange we're having now is based on the reality that you know I can't taste that. And I always <laughs> feel like when I'm driving a car, I'm like, oh, it's so smooth. You got, oh, you'd love to try it. Ah, the cornering on it is nice. I'm just one of those food videos. <laughs> Not to disparage anyone who's out there cooking their ass off. Good for you. You keep making those videos. That's hard work. As someone who's tried to make videos before. Ah. Here we go around. All the way back, I got excited and just started... I don't know where I was going. I'm still going there. I mean, there's no way back to the office from here. We're stuck. We're just gonna keep driving forever. Now I'm on this overpass. It's too much fun to stop. I can't. We have other cars, but... Okay, I'm getting off. I'm getting off now, I promise. Okay. 
So, I need to go, I guess, to the office, but I need to leave this car outside so that it doesn't try to swap itself over to live in the office. You do not live in the office. Silly Yask here. I think this is the right way. And then we slip in the rain. Oh, just a little too much because of the rain. Not because of my incompetence, for sure. No. All right, so we leave this outside. You don't live here. Oh, I'm all wet now. Ech. Ech. It's gonna wash the blood off of me. I can't have that. Get under something. Office garage number three. Now, we still... <laughs> this was foolish of me. I could have taken the BF club. I could have gone back to the auto shop and taken the club and brought it back here, and then we would have had an open slot. Now I have to do uh, oh, a whole lot of things to get that to work. What a fool. Oh well, we'll take the Dominator out regardless, because I want to see it. I want to feel it in my vibration engines, which I'm holding just here. Donk, good to see you. Dink-a-donk! Alright, this is the Dominator we've been looking for. Enough of old Ben Kenobi trying to confuse us. This is, in fact, the Dominator. Supposedly this is like the newest, or... <laughs> that's not the way to say it. The... <laughs> I've completely forgotten the word. It's the new best car in the muscle class. And it's, I think, the only car that is in the muscle category that got added with this tuner's update, so it makes it sort of interesting. So everyone's been trying to race it against the new cars, but all the races they've released so far are designed for tuners, and this thing doesn't corner nearly as well as a tuner would. Probably gonna yell at me. Yep. Alright. Are you gonna let me pick where to put it? Because that's fine. And I'm never sure how this works. But we'll see. Don't delete one of my cars. Good. Now let me see if it t tells me where it's going to put my club. Are you sure you want to replace it? Mm. <laughs> it's always a little bit strange, because way back in the day, before they cared about you as a player... Ah, that was rude. You could totally overwrite a car and lose it for all time. I'm sure they've fixed that problem by now, but I'm still a little paranoid from those early days. Let me see if I can do this a uh, better way. The vehicle you entered with will be returned to your garage. I think that's fine. Then I can grab the club and take it back. I should have done this earlier, but this way should work. So sorry for my paranoia there. You are the one that does not belong. I'm sorry. Get out. We'll run back around and grab that Dominator again. I just wanted a chance to jump back in time. I never have time for a sip when I'm flapping my lips. And you can put that on a t-shirt. Just don't try to sell it. Because it'll be really dispiriting. I don't know for who. Is it for me that you're making all the money off of it, or for you that it's not making any money? I don't know what the implication is here. But somebody is going to be dispirited by this, and I beg you not to. Oh, and thank you for the gift sub. That is lovely. And much appreciated. Okay. We should be in good shape now. I'm assuming it will be waiting for us back here. Like a cruel magician's ruse. Just what I wanted for my child's birthday party. How much is it for the cruel ruse? You got it. Plus, I'm a very good tipper. Or at least that's what I say whenever someone asks me.
That was my short window for sips. Between flapping my lips. But now it's over. Okay, we're back. Let's take a different route this time. Let's mix it up. It's a shame you decided to go just then, but I can't help it. I can't control what you do. So I'm just going to have to move around you. This is such a nice car. All of these new tuner cars are like precision machines. An absolute treat to drive. Even the Calico, with its clearly broken handling, <laughs> is amazing. And I love it. All right, home sweet home for our GTT. So that's weird. It's like there are ten, or as of yesterday, there were ten new tuner cars released with this DLC. And you got the new auto shop property, which, hurrah, has ten garage slots. Almost as if it's perfectly made for one another. But now they have seven more DLC cars coming in, like, the drip feed. So every week they're going to release a new one. And there will be seven more. And it's like, where am I supposed to put those? If I can't buy another level in my auto shop? This is my question. I, I walked right away from you, Dominator. I'm sorry. Let's get you gussied up for the big party. Oh, we're going to have a ball. We are going to dominate. Pardon me. Get my door to stop shaking <coughs> when the upstairs apartment has their air conditioner on. It shakes and shakes. And it starts to be one of those, like, bad low notes that makes you chemically anxious. <laughs> it's one of those things. Maybe that only happens to me. But sometimes in the world there are these bad, bad low notes that make me chemically anxious. I'll tell you all about it sometime. I like the classic metal bumpers. That seems hard to pass up. Leave those for now. Gotta give myself some nice speed. Mm, thank you. if you can change the hood to take more advantage of the engine. Let's check that category. Straight. Race exhaust. Oh, I do like side exhausts. That's always something that is hard for me to pass up. I don't know why. It seems somehow less rude. I know there are people next to you just as much as there'd be people behind you, but... Uh, I feel so rude, is all. So I'm not sure if I want to go straight back. That makes it more of like a daredevil stunt car somehow. I kind of like that. Or if I want to do these. That's not... If it had like the full pipe along the side, I would have already bought it. So let's go for these. It seems appropriate somehow. Ooh, those are very chunky. I like that. I like some good chunk on it done. I can delete its name. You dominate no more. Would be kind of nice to see straight into the intercooler, especially if there were more visually stunning intercooler options, but there weren't really. I am tempted to remove its name, but that's just rude. Come on. Oh, those are cool. Little headlight covers. Or fully no second headlights for you. Not today, sir. No high beams. It's too warm in here for that. I like those. Hmm. That's interesting. Sure. Give it a little something. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, 
Yep. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> I can't quite decide if I want it to just be classic, though. This has such a nice, sturdy look to it. Let's go there. Don't really need any of that. Liveries? Hmm. I do like these barn find ones. I wonder if I change that to, like, matte paint, if it wouldn't be so shiny, too. It would probably look more realistic if I <laughs> took away the gloss. I think you can do that. Flame on. What is that one? Tin Worm Time Machine? Wow. I like the name of it. Okay, so for this one, let's try to do something a little weirder. I'm going to take the primary color to a metallic... Let me see what the darker red or darker, like, orange options are. Sunrise orange. That might not be bad. There's also... That's about the only one. Well, the only one is Sunrise Orange. Let me check the reds, too. Wine red is really dark. That might look kind of cool. There's a specific sort of... look I want with this one. Let's try Sunrise Orange with a pearlescent Sunrise Red. Sunset Red, rather. trying to think if it's like it needs to be dark red and then the orange will give it the look I want. I don't think I can start with the orange. That needs to be the accent on it. So let me switch this around. Tempted to try wine red. So sunrise orange would give it that kind of thing in the... Just the glint of the light. That's kind of what I'm searching for. I would love for it to be a touch brighter. Like a touch more... orange. <laughs> Full stop. I wish there was a darker orange, but this is probably the closest we're going to get, and it looks gorgeous. I'm not complaining. Let's do that. like just the seat trim in there, maybe. We could make that match, just for a little extra fun. Oh, it's so fun. Sunrise. Yeah. Okay, how about accent color? Doesn't seem to be changing anything. Now I'm paranoid. After the heart pipes. Ooh, that's up there. Fancy. Not sure if this one needs it. It's so blocky back there already, it might get away with it. Let's see how it looks in motion. I could get rid of my, uh... Oh, my barn raisin beard. That, that would be nice. Let's do that. Ten thousand dollars to shave off my barn raisin beard, but I don't mind. It's fine. I'm not really bitter about it. Hmm. Maybe just one. I kind of like that. All right, we're getting to the end of the list here. This one's going to be fun to test. Maybe we can take it down into the river. I do want to give it muscle wheels. 
just to keep it in its same category here. Cross-contamination, you know. And then the question is, should we do classic rod? Hmm. That is hard to pass up. A little bit of the classic rod. You are entering. Mm. Can't beat it. Gotta give it those, ti those white tires. Ah, I always forget. I jump to those assuming, but it's not uh, white walls for the muscle category, but that's fine. Doesn't need it. Not everything needs it. <laughs> I have to remind myself. I am going to leave the armor off on this one, though it is such a beast. It's not one to crash. Never mind. I was going to say maybe I could show you that damage mechanic thing I was talking about, but not with this car, not with such a beauty. So, let's take a look here. And then it's getting a little bit late for me. I was hoping I would speed through the customization a bit quicker here. We have three, four more completely new ones to try. I'm really excited. Thank you for splurging with me. This has been exactly what I needed at the end of a long day. And I promise I'll stop gravelly wheezing at you soon. <laughs> Let's take it through the city here. Oh. It's like when you pull back one of those cars that you have to, like, wind up and then release. And how those cannot be diverted from their <laughs> end goal at that point. It has, like, such a straight arrow quality to it. Once again, enjoy me eating these delicious tacos while you can only watch. I take it through the back alleyways to make sure it's good for those getaways. Oh, and it is. It really, really is. Sorry, Fire Hydrum. I miss you! And our talks together! Oh, I hit the planter, and now it's all over. I have to go to the hospital now and file a police report, and ah, my life. I like it. The Dominator, then. So all of these purchases should have also increased my car reputation. Or my car meat reputation. Whatever I'm supposed to call that. It might be worth swinging back there to check before we give up the ghost on this session. Just to see what level we're at and if we unlocked any new clothes or something. It's really just an excuse to drive this car more. That's all. I heard that so clearly in my headphones. It was like everything else faded away. And I, all I heard was that one pedestrian say, You dumbass! It's just still ringing. I'm so grateful we got to zoom around a bit here tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully my voice will join us next time. Special guest star... Pardon me. Ah, oh, I love that color. So nice that it just sort of appears like a sunset out of nowhere. Or a sunrise, rather. If you're not expecting the sunset, I have to question your... your intelligence, really. You've had all day to think about it. it you knew it was coming. It's, it's not a surprise. Come on. One thing, just if, if you didn't know, in the car meet that's kind of cool is you have this, like, vehicle interaction menu. This has been in the game forever, but now it has a purpose in the car meet. You can, like, open all your doors with a little remote control. And that's super cute. And I like it. Can lower. If it had any neon, you could turn that on, but, yeah, I don't have any neon. I just think that's kind of neat that now that there is a 
designated social space for showing off your cars, all those features kind of came back into uh, purpose, which is nice. So, let's see if there's anything else uh, that I unlocked here. It looks like we're at 54, which I think every five levels it gives you a chance at unlocking one of the related car trade prices. So at 55, we might actually unlock that Comet one, because it's the only one left. But I'm not sure. I'm not getting my hopes up. Just in case. But if we can knock it up to 55 with some clothing purchases or something... Oh, that's what my nipples look like. It's It's been some time. I haven't seen them. I'm so afraid of mirrors, you know. So, uh, similar to the related cars to the Tuner DLC, all of these clothes give you, like, 50 points in reputation. <laughs> so as you unlock them, you can kind of just buy yourself some progress as you move through. And it also puts you in a bunch of hideous leather jackets, which is fun. It's like a fashion roulette sort of situation. to be about it in the in the tops category. Let's check hats. Good. One here. So you can see the little bar down above the buy button. It doesn't help for me to motion at the camera thusly, but you can see that progress increasing with every purchase. Is the only reason I'm buying baseball hats. Gray and purple. That's nice. It's a good combination. For like a I don't know, a CrossFit class that takes place next to a lavender field? I, I don't know. So you can also earn reputation by test driving the new cars that they come out with. The new car for next week, like for a while, this one was not purchasable, but you could test drive it, and now you can purchase it because it's finally available. And this is the new one that's coming out next week. So it seems like they're giving you a little taste every time, which they haven't done before. That's kind of nice. And that also gets you a little reputation. I haven't tried going after one of these prize rides yet. I know you need to do the official race series for that, and I'm so bad at doing multiple races in a row. But I have dipped my toe in the water of a couple of them. So I think that's all the points we can buy. You can also just hang around in here. I think it gives you, like... Oh, thank you so much for stopping by. So sorry to miss you there. Bye for now. Um, I think it gives you ten points of reputation every four minutes that you're standing in here. And then if you're wearing clothing that you bought from this merch shop, it's like twenty points. It doubles your car meat idol. Whatever it is. Reputation games. So, you can, say, run into here, since they have these full suits. You can run and put on one of these suits. I prefer this one. It's not very flattering for my mustard ass, but this one, as you may notice rather obviously, uh, says Enema on the back of it. So, I, w I wear this green one, and I find that that's fun, and that really flatters my ass. So you can put on, like, a full outfit, and then you know you're making 20 points every four minutes. And then you can just sort of, eh, space out, watch some... I don't know what you watch. Castlevania? You just watch some Castlevania, and before you know it, you're at level 54. That's how I did it. <laughs> and a couple of supplementary races. Anyway, I'm sorry to ramble. Thank you guys for hanging out with me here. We have a ton more cars that we can finish customizing next time. And then we have more cars to buy. We've got that Comet. We'll need to figure out some more garage space to keep them all. And I truly cannot wait. It has been a pleasure zooming around with you. Thank you for suffering my, my many customization-based rambles. I do appreciate it. This was a blast. As I try not to hit the wall. <laughs> and I will see you very, very soon.
Thank you again for your time, your kind attention. And oh my goodness, there's a blue dot on the map. One second. I was about to leave, but then the blue dot gods of the universe had other plans. What is this? What are you teasing? It's not gonna help. Go around. It's so close to going around. Here we are. Ah, it's just a Cayo Perico thing. That's fine. I'm still looking for those, like, exotic export vehicles for the new auto shop. And these keep teasing me. It's always this guy. By the way, on that subject, uh, I had the hardest time. I was grinding for like an hour two evenings ago or so, trying to find one of those, and I never did, and it got to the point where I had to look it up. And a lot of people were talking about it on the forum, that you have this hide options in your interaction menu, and it's not supposed to be, but for some reason, I think it's other. Let me check. Yes. Under Other, there's this category for air freight missions, which is something they added a long time ago, and I did them all, and then I was like, okay, I don't need to see those anymore, and I hid them. Apparently, for some reason, these new exotic export vehicles got put in as random air freight tagged missions. And so, once I switched that to show, I finally saw one the other day. But I didn't. I was on another mission and couldn't bring it in. So, if you're not seeing any of those at all, and you're tearing your hair out as I was, that may be the problem. Anyway, uh, it was just the Cayo Perico guy, which means I can step out into some light, and thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we will be back to finish customizing the rest of our tuner set. Hi, train. It's nice to see a train. And I can't wait to see him. Thank you for your time. Bye for now. Have a lovely evening. And a wonderful Friday if I don't see you. But hopefully I will. Goodbye.